In today's video, we're gonna show you how to stream a pre-recorded video in a YouTube live event that plays perfectly clear with perfect audio because because no one wants to listen to audio that's choppy, doesn't sound good, and the visual just looks like crap. So, stay tuned. Before we get to the tutorial, there's a few reasons we should cover on to why you actually want good quality pre-recorded video in a YouTube live event. Number one, if you own a video production company and you wanna show off samples during a webinar or a YouTube live event, you need good quality pre-recorded audio to do so, and we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. And the second reason is because live events rank way easier than any other form of video on YouTube. I don't know why, they just do. And the third reason, quite frankly, is because I'm tired of seeing videos like this when they could look like this. So. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so here we go. And the very first thing you want to do is log into your account. Now, we will be streaming this through a live event and it's technically not a Hangout, although they rank pretty much ex exactly the same and they're pretty much the exact same functions. One's just called a live event and has a little more features and the other one's a Hangout. So what we wanna do is when you log into your account, you wanna go to um, the settings in your YouTube settings. So if you hit your drop down menu here, there's a little gear icon. Just go ahead and click on that. And it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. When you're on this page, you want to click on view additional features. The one thing you want to do is go all the way down to the bottom and make sure your live events is enabled so you can stream live events. If it's not enabled, just hit the enable button and you'll probably be fine and that will get enabled for you. So the very next thing you want to do is go to your video manager. Once you click on your video manager, you wanna click on live events to the left, and then you want to create a new live event. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just give this a title. So I went ahead and gave it a title, and what we're gonna do is just add in a description. So I'm just gonna say this is a test video for a live stream and we can always change this in the future now if you're really doing this for ranking purposes i would go ahead and make sure your keywords are in here and your title is exactly the way you want to do it uh, and then you can add in some tags so we're going to write in live events sold with video and we can schedule it now this is not necessarily the time where it's going to go live you can always be a couple minutes late but just kind of give it a good time so when you do broadcast this there's a time associated with it so uh, we're just gonna do it since I'm doing this pretty late it's almost 1 in the morning here so we're gonna go ahead and just leave it at 1 in the morning um, actually no we're gonna move it to 1230 and then you can choose an end time if you want now what we're gonna do next is choose advanced settings uh, let's go back real quick you can choose to make it public unlisted or private so when it does is done being broadcast you can either have it go right to your channel or you can have it go unlisted or you can have it go private. I'm just gonna leave it as public. And then advanced features, you guys can go through all this just like you would with a normal video. Go through it, there's nothing really important you have to do on this page. Uh, but if you are doing local videos, I would go ahead and add in your location there. The very next thing you wanna do is go to monetization and if you wanna put ads on it, you can. Uh, for these purposes, we're not going to do that and the next step we're gonna do is hit create event. All right, so now our event is created. It's time to set up the broadcast. So what we're gonna do is uh, you can add in a thumbnail, but we're gonna go ahead and skip that. Now you're gonna see right here, there's a piece of software called Wirecast that is free and you guys need to use this and download this uh, when you wanna do a live event and have good quality audio or video, pre-recorded video play through your live event. So go ahead and download that now, pause this video, install it, and then continue with this video once that's installed. So now you should have it installed. What we're gonna do is select bitrate, and you wanna get, you're gonna have to play around with this. If you have a very fast computer and fast internet connection, you can choose 1080p. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose 720 for, these pur for this purpose, and hopefully it'll play fine. But if you notice that your video is not playing as smoothly as you want or as high quality as you want, then you might want to choose the bitrate lower because your computer just can't handle it. So I'm going to try 720 and see what happens. And then it's going to ask you who you want to encode and basically stream your video. Well, we just downloaded Wirecast, so let's go ahead and choose Wirecast. 
and they're gonna give you instructions here on what to do. So go ahead and go through those instructions and I'm gonna go through them with you right now. So the very first thing you wanna do is download and install. We did that. You wanna log into your YouTube account uh, from Wirecast. So I already have it open. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And what you wanna do is go to output, output settings at the very top, output, output settings. And we're gonna go ahead and configure this. So you're gonna go and hit authenticate and it's gonna ask you to sign in to your YouTube um, account. So what we're gonna do here is go ahead and do that right now. All right, so I went ahead and logged in and it's gonna ask you if you want to accept uh, Wirecast as an app to use and you hit yes. And once you do that, everything's authenticated. You can change your settings here if you want. I'm gonna leave them the way it is. And your event is going to be up and ready for you to go. So what we need to do now is actually start the stream from Wirecast first, okay? So what we're gonna do here is import our videos. So all you're gonna do is go to File, Import Media, and I have a video here ready to go. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab the video and we're going to import it. And I'm not gonna play it just yet. Now, before you import your video, you wanna make sure it's compressed and you guys can use Handbrake. It's a free piece of software. I'll put a link in the text description uh, to really compress this video and you want to click on the video once it's imported and test it if it plays perfectly fine on your computer with no glitches and it's perfectly being played like a hundred percent and you would be happy with that to appear online then you're good to go but if it's choppy and it's not playing right on your computer that's because the video is not compressed enough it's not you're basically your computer can't handle it so you need to make sure that your computer your video is compressed um, and the bit rates are low low enough for it to play and be broadcast so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little test right now and it looks like to me it's playing perfectly fine the way it's playing in Wirecast is exactly the same way it's going to be streamed online. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play it. I'm gonna turn the volume down on my speaker so we don't have to listen to the audio, but it's playing right now and what we wanna do is hit stream. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go to blank shot and what I'm gonna do is hit stream and now it's gonna be, it's gonna be streaming basically to my channel, but it's not live yet. So what we're gonna do now is just switch, uh, we're gonna leave it on blank and what we're gonna do is go over back to our YouTube uh, settings here and we're gonna go uh, into the live control room. And right now, it, it the preview button should be up. If everything's connected correctly and everything's working, you should have the status stream says good, health is good, and preview. Once you hit preview, you hit okay, and it's gonna basically prep it and get it ready to be broadcast. Okay, now it's going and we can either give it a minute and preview it before we start it, um, or we can just hit start streaming once this button goes. So let's give it a minute here. Okay, so we're good to go. I can either hit play and watch a preview or I can hit start streaming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start streaming and yes. So now I should be live and my event is starting. So once it's started, there we go, now it's started. So now what we're gonna do is go back to Wirecast and Wirecast has already been broadcasting. So now what's happening is Wirecast is broadcasting to our channel and our channel is now live. So what we're gonna do is click on the video we wanna play and as you guys can hear, the audio is going, the video is playing perfectly fine, it's being broadcast. Now, I don't want you guys to try to time this as best as you can because what's gonna happen is uh, we can go actually go into our, our, our stream once it's done and edit and get the perfect time. So what I'm gonna do is actually let my video play like two or three times, that way I'm completely sure that it's up and it's live and it's, it's going good. Because what I'm gonna be able to do is go back once our, our stream is done and edit just the section I want. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna let this video play just a few times through and just let it make sure that it's set and then I'm gonna come back to you guys um, so you guys don't have to sit here for three minutes watching my video. All right, so my video is played two or three times live right now, and if I was to go to my YouTube channel and type in, uh, you know, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash sold with video forward slash live, this video would be live online right now. Like I can literally go to my channel and this would be live. So we can even show you that right now. So I can go here and show you, here it is being broadcast live, good quality, perfectly, 
you know, perfect audio. So if you're on a webinar or something, or you're trying to show off perfect production or whatever, this is awesome because it's perfect quality here. So I've already let my video go through a couple times. So what I'm going to do is actually just go back uh, to our to our channel where it's being broadcast here. Give me a second. And all I'm going to do is hit stop stream when we're ready to do it. I'm going to just go ahead and do that now. And just so you guys know, you can also be on camera. You can have a webcam hooked up to this and switch between the video and yourself. If you're doing like a webinar or your a presentation and share your screen and everything. So uh, we went ahead and we stopped that recording. So now what we're going to do is just go in here and we're just going to stop the stream or just close down Wirecast either way. So what we're going to do, we don't need to save anything unless you want to, but I'm not going to because it's already on, on our YouTube channel. So we're almost done. One more step. So now it's done and it's going and it's complete. So next thing we need to do is just go to our video manager and it will appear in there, but you need to give it a few minutes. All right, so as you guys can see, our video is now in our manager here, although the thumbnail is not up yet, but you can put in a custom thumbnail if you want. So what we're gonna do is go to edit, and you can see the different thumbnails, they're just not up yet, but you guys can also choose your custom thumbnail if you want. But what we're gonna do is go to enhancements, and what we're gonna do is hit trim, and then now what we're gonna be able to do is just trim our video so only the good parts are in there. Now I let it play three, you know, two or three times so that I was basically ensuring that I would have it play at least one full time in my video. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of scroll through here and make sure I find the very beginning. And here is the very beginning of one of the videos. So let me go through here and get towards the end. And let's take a look. Where are we at? And so you, you can play as you're doing it. And what we're going to do is just watch this until we get to the very end of the video. And I'm going to show you guys a cool little trick. Now here comes the end of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And you can hit the down, the arrow to the right and to the left. And it will basically bring you you know frame by frame to the very end so I'm gonna to go to the very keep clicking it to the very first frame of the beginning of the video so you can even just drag this guy there drag 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 okay and then I'm gonna hit hit it so it keeps going keeps going keeps going and it goes black all the way to the end and there we go so I'm gonna go back one frame Perfect. And then I'm going to take this and drag this all the way to the end of the video, which is right around here somewhere. And there we go. So now I have the perfect uh, little chunk of my video. I'm going to hit done. And now what's going to happen is it's going to take my live stream and then I'm going to hit save. And it's going to take, and you just hit OK. And so what's, what it's going to do is take my entire video that I just streamed live and take that little segment and now my entire live stream is going to be that little segment. So if your video is 30 seconds, then do the 30 second thing and you're just going to have a 30 second stream. Now in my case, it's like a minute seven or something like that. So it's being processed. It's going to take a while. Sometimes it takes 15, 30 minutes, but what's going to happen is now you're going to have a completely live stream in good quality. It's going to uh, play audio fine and it's going to look really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment underneath this video, letting me know how you're going to use this and how it's going to help you. I would extremely appreciate it. And this is Brandon from Sold With Video signing out.